We're live. I'm glad you guys are here. This is Levi Sim for photofocus.com and I am so excited this morning to uh, to have you join us for this professional portrait retouching uh, webinar. We are going to learn some terrific principles and also some great techniques for how to make our portraits look their very best. And I'm really also glad that uh, perfectly clear Athentech uh, Athentech Imaging Athentech Imaging makes perfectly clear, and they are sponsoring this webinar so that Christy Shork and I can share some terrific tips with you. And perfectly clear is one of the tools made by Athentech, as well as perfect eyes and perfect skin. And we'll be, of course, using some of those today, along with uh, some of the other terrific software tools available to us. And so, uh, again, my name is Levi Sim, but I'd like to introduce you to our guest, Christina Shirk. And Christy is a photographer, she's a retoucher, she's a mermaid, and she's wearing a shark fin. <laughs> Welcome, Christy. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. This is awesome. I'm so excited to talk to you guys about the newly released Perfect Skin and Perfect Eyes. So it's going to be great. Absolutely. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I am, just as you said, a retoucher and a photographer a little bit. So I definitely I'm a retoucher first. And um, and then mermaid. You make, you make really good photographs. You you photograph people and help them make, you know, they look great when they're done with your retouching, but they also look great when you're done photographing them in camera. I mean, you make good photographs. Well, thank yeah. you. It's really nice, you know. Um, I, I did musical theater like when I was really when I was a kid, and so that kind of got me into the whole headshot scene. Right. So doing that as well um, has helped, you know, grow my business. So I, so yeah, I try and balance the two businesses. You know, I've got the Shark Pixel for the retouching, and then I have Christina Shark Photography as well. But it's funny, my the way that I actually ended up getting into photography was I loved Photoshop. I loved the editing programs, and so I needed something to edit. So while a lot, while most people like did the opposite, right? They love taking photos, and then they're like, "All right, I guess I got to learn Photoshop." I, I went to school for four years for Photoshop, and then I was like, "Well, I need something to retouch, so I need to start taking photos." So a lot of the trial and error with being a photographer came, and I was able to kind of retouch my way out of a couple of really sticky situations <laughs> when it came to clients and stuff. Um, so so yeah, it's great. That's cool. That's great. That's uh, you, it's it's really interesting that you you came like backwards from where I did because like you say I was a I was getting into photography and figured I needed to learn how to use some Photoshop and things and uh, still, I mean, still haven't learned anything like like what you've you've mastered in in Photoshop for sure. And so I'm I'm excited that you're here with us now. You you photograph headshots for people, but you also um, personally photograph underwater a lot, which is quite interesting. That is uh, one of my new new obsessions, I would say. Yeah, so um, thankfully with photography, it's, um, it's broad enough that when you get tired with one thing, you can start exploring another, uh, okay. like subset. So what I've been doing recently is exploring the underwater photography and underwater portraits as well, and just it's making me fall in love with photography all over again, which is exciting. Perfect, perfect. Um, well, as as we as we get going here, we've got um, we've got a way for everybody to interact with us. There's a Q and A module on the. Uh, on the event page. And if you'll just click the, the little grid in the top corner of the video, you'll see Q&A. And then you can ask us questions live, like Kenneth Martin and Alan Gale are already logged in. Alan says hello, and, and Kenneth reminds us that I forgot to say perfect exposure in addition to perfectly clear, uh, perfect eyes and perfect skin. And uh, thanks, Kenneth, I appreciate that. And perfect exposure is a, is a free tool that Athentech is is giving away forever. You can just download it, and it is the best exposure and contrast tool on the planet. So I highly you also have a, a, um, a an app for your cell phone, right? Right. Yeah. There's there's the Lucid app, Lucid. well, which gives us very similar controls uh, that we get on the desktop right on our mobile devices, and it's cool. 
it, it really works well. It does. It re works really well. Yeah. Now, so we've also got some prizes to give away for you today. We've got um, we've got a couple of licenses of Perfect Eyes as well as Perfectly Clear Complete to share with you. And the way that you enter the drawing for one of those prizes is simply by asking a question. So head over to the Q&A and say hello just like Steve Drury just did. You don't have to actually ask a question, you just need to leave a comment there and that enters you in the drawing for our prizes. Also, Christy has a great deal because she's our guest and she finagled somehow to get the best price possible. We're gonna show you Perfect Skin today and it's a brand new app. It just launched this Monday and it is, uh, what's the full price on it, 59 bucks? Yeah, so right now, just for Perfect Skin, it's 59 um, and I, uh, they were lucky, they were, I was really lucky, they gave me a great promo code to share with the viewers and the attendees um, of this webinar, and it's, uh, should I show them? This sure, 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 show us your promo slide right there, and then we'll also put the, the code in the event feed, and you'll be able to click right on the, uh, the link here, and using Christy's promo code. Yeah, so um, so the promo code is actually SHARK35. You see it right here. And um, it actually brings the price down from 59 to 35, which is, which is nuts though. I mean, it's even worth just purchasing just to try it out. If, even if you don't know anything about it, you know, um, at that price point, the closest competitor that I'd like to liken Perfect Skin to is um, is is actually Portraiture, uh, which is created by ImageNomic, and I think the price for that for one license is like one hundred and ninety nine dollars, something something crazy like that. So at this price, it's really it's honestly a no brainer. And I'm also going to be including if you go ahead and purchase that using this link. And then using the, the promo code, I'm actually going to be throwing in um, six free presets for you that I created using Perfect Skin, which you can then add into your software version, and you can start using those immediately. So, um, so that's all super exciting and definitely, uh, definitely worth that. Thirty-five dollar price. I don't. I don't think you can get any better than that, honestly. Yeah. No. It's it's perfect. Um, let's see. I'm I'm putting a, a note right now. This is the link for um, for buying a with the sh it's shark thirty shark thirty five or shark thirty five. Uh, shark like the like the fin. There we go, and I'm sharing that right on the uh, on the event page. Sweet. And oh, go ahead. No, I just said sweet. Okay, I'll tell a couple of people to hit refresh so they see so they see the video live. we go and I'm back in our page gotta disable this thing there we go and thank you so much Chrissy for for finagling those discounts for us that's a really great price and like you say that is it's so cheap and I use this on every portrait I make and in a single hit shot session, it is paid for itself because of, well, let's let's get to it. Let's show you how it works. Yeah, for sure. Because there is, there's one case study that I, that I did um, where, where I basically, there was a, a lady that was um, setting up a booth in a trade show. And I'll show this example. Um, I'll actually show this example first before we get into it. But there was a lady at a trade show and she wanted to offer um, headshots for anybody that came to her booth during the trade show and I thought that that was an awesome way to draw people in um, mm -hmm. you know I'm familiar a little bit with the the trade show like the way the tra trade shows work um, and so at the 
at our first conversation, I was like, listen, you're not going to be able to afford, you know, having um, this much of like, it's just not worth it monetarily. Right. I, and she said, well, try me, you know? And so I, so I put together this offer for her. It's nothing like I've ever done before. And what I said was, I'm not going to do any editing on the photos freehand because I would take 25 minutes to retouch each image because I'm a retoucher, right? So I said, I'll run it through a software program and everybody will get three, the best three images. And, and basically you'll be able to use those images and they'll have a little bit of retouching done to them. They'll look nice and polished, but I'm not going to go in and add my, my own retouching to them. It took me, <laughs> I think it took us 45 seconds to set up the batch process. Right. And we went through and we ran it through perfect eyes and perfect skin. And so I'll show you what the result was on all of the, um, on all of the images really quickly. Excellent. Well, you dig that up. Yes, here we are going to show you how, um, how to use the complete app for retouching. And, and again, we're using a brand new app today too called Perfect Skin, which many of the controls are included in Perfectly Clear Complete. And, uh, and then you, Chrissy's got that terrific special price for us. So, um, also Antoine is asking, I have the plugin version from a couple of months ago. Can I get the updated version from Athentech? Yes, just go down to, in, in the bottom left corner, it's a, um, I think it's a settings button when you have the app open. The leftmost button on the bottom left corner and click in there and then click settings and you'll see the, the, um, the update button and just click on that and download there. And uh, Jonathan says hello from Oregon. Hello from Virginia, from Scott Martin. Tony says nice hat, Levi. Did you see Christie's shark fin though? <laughs> um, what does perfectly skin do that perfectly clear doesn't? Asks Glenn. And Glenn, we're gonna show you. It it's it's new. It's just it's like all the skin settings from perfectly clear. Supercharged, right? Supercharged, yeah. It's it's the it's it's what we well, that's what Christy's been asking for. <laughs> yeah, I, no, it is exactly, and I I've worked really closely with them so far um, to try and you know make this product really really great for you guys, and they re they have like so much potential in just taking over the automated skin, automated beauty retouching market. So get, so if I were you, I would basically suggest getting in on, you know, at the bottom level and basically just learning this software because it's going to do nothing but get better and it's already super powerful. And then as it grows and as it gets better, you're going to get better as well. And it's just going to be like totally worth it. So, Absolutely. so in 45, so in 45 seconds, we set an, set up an action and we were able to retouch 128 um, let me see. Control. We were able to retouch 128 portraits in 45 seconds. So I did this as a, like I said, I did this as a case study for this one client to see if I could actually make it worth my while to go there and to take headshots for three hours and just have people cycle through right, and then basically automate the retouching portion of it. So this program was able to save us, I don't know, what's 25 minutes times 128 photos? It's a whole lot. It's, it's a whole lot. exactly it's 2,500 minutes. It's what? 2,500 minutes. Yeah. Divided by 60. Let's see. Carry the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a lot of time. It's a whole lot of time. It's so, a lot of time that was saved, right? And so yeah. the, 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 the better ways that you can learn to save time and minimize pro processing time on this stuff just means you're getting paid so much more per hour because it's, it's legitimately annihilating the time that you spend on the client. So yeah. as, I, as I digress, I just want you to look through the, the before and afters of each one of these images that was aut completely automated, okay? Awesome. Well, and, and this makes it accessible for your client 
to to hire you. I mean, to to get a great product at a price that you know it lowered the price for her a lot. Right. The, and it, it obviously, if these were if if each of these people were hiring you, you would take that twenty five minutes and put the absolute polish on. Uh, right. But man, what a great job that look at look at what it's doing under the eyes. I mean, what it does under the eyes alone is worth worth what I've paid for for perfectly clear. Yeah. And um and, and the fact that it can batch uh, the fact that you can batch this across 128 images and have it work this well. I mean, are you kidding me? Right. Like, what a time like what a time saver. And I don't mean this to be a a a uh uh we're not, we're not just going to talk about how great it is the whole time. We're going to show you here. Yeah. Um, Jonathan, Jonathan asks, what's the difference between Perfectly Clear Complete and the plugins? And, and so Perfectly Clear Complete is, one, is, is a plugin. It includes Perfect Eyes, and it includes the older skin retouching uh, tools. So Perfect Skin may eventually be included in Perfectly Clear Complete as well. But at this point, because Perfect Skin is so new, it's its standalone. Perfect Eyes is also a standalone, which you can get if you just want to make the eyes look great. And then Perfectly Clear Complete currently includes Perfect Eyes and other contrast and, and color controls, as well as skin retouching in, in itself. And, uh, and that price has just been lowered to 149 bucks. So that's, that's also a steal for the whole thing. Uh, now, Hugh is asking, can we compare this with Portrait Pro 15, which I don't really use anymore, but I'm wondering. We're not, we're not going to do a side by side. Uh, Christy, Christy may mention some things that she likes better, but you know, for, that that's not our style here. We're we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna disparage one and say we're just gonna show you how great this one is and how well. I mean, Christy's using it, and Christy's a full time retoucher, and this is what she's choosing. So that that's the other thing uh, is, there's no problem in downloading the free 30 day trial and and comparing it yourself. Absolutely, Portrait Pro. I actually don't have Portrait Pro on my computer. Yeah. So it wouldn't be able to <laughs> show you the difference, um, but you know it's definitely something to consider for a future webinar. That's all. Um. Right. Right. Um, okay. Well, so show us some magic, Christina. We we need also you know tell us tell us some principles about retouching so that even if I don't buy perfectly clear today or perfect skin today, what are, what are the things that I need to do to retouch? Yeah, absolutely. So there are a couple different things. Um, that are going to be instrumental, you know, original, um, you know, things that you need to check off, check off your, uh, uh, your to-do list, to -do list. Uh, when it comes yeah, to, when it comes to Kind of the same things you do for every, every picture. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Is anybody here? Is anybody echo? hearing an echo? Uh, I hear a little echo. Is it, is it me or is it you? It's only on my, um, I, I think it's only when I speak. Let me plug in my headphones and see if that makes a difference for us. We were doing well. <laughs> I don't hear it anymore. Does so. that alter anything for you? Yeah. Yes, for sure. Okay, great. Then I'll, I'll just keep my headphones on for you. Okay, cool. So I've got this one image here that I want to take into, um, into perfect skin and, and kind of just do a really quick, uh, skin retouch on on this image. So if I go ahead and right click, and if you guys see down in the bottom, there should be a bar here, and you can see that I have mouse pose um, turned on. So that means any time that I'm going to be using a keyboard shortcut, it's going to come up and it's going to be a highlighted bar at the bottom of my screen. So just so you guys know what that is. So I'm going to right click, and then I'm going to choose Edit In, and let's get started. Into, and let's go ahead into Perfect Skin so we can give this a whirl. So one thing that Lightroom does is it does not allow any third-party plugin to write to the XMP of the file. So anytime you're going to be working on an image, it is going to ask you if you want to create a copy to do um, to do the perfectly uh, the perfect skin edits on. So we'll go ahead and choose edit a copy and then we'll go ahead and hit edit. And right now you're not showing us a batch, you're just showing us one picture at a time. Correct. Or, or, or we can open a couple pictures and they all open at the same time and we can, we can go through them individually. That's true and I'll do that in just a sec. So, um, so 
one key thing that I that is super important when retouching skin is to be zoomed into a hundred percent of the image when you're working on the skin. So the way that I'm going to do that is hit the Z key, and that's going to zoom me into a hundred percent. And I know that this is super super like zoomed in here, right? But I do want to show you, you know, right out of the gate. Okay, we've got the skin default work that's already been done for us, which is pretty amazing that it found the general skin tone of the image and it actually applied the skin smoothing to the entire area of skin tone. So if I hit Z again and zoom out and I hit my space bar, you'll be able to preview the before and after of Perfect. just the intelligent auto preset that is basically I didn't have to click a single thing when bringing this into perfect skin. All I did was open the image in perfect skin and this is what it gave me by default without me having to even raise my finger to click anything. Right, that's, that is incredible. So that's um, as, you, as you pan around and things, go just a little slower for the video to resolve on the web, mm -hmm. on the broadcast. I will. Thanks. Sure, let me zoom uh, one more time. And I'm just gonna stick right here and then I'll do the space bar so that you can see the before and after of what yeah. was done um, by default automatically using the intelligent auto preset that we have here. So there are two panes within perfect skin. You've got your presets pane here, which gives you um, perfect skin one and perfect skin two. So there are actually 16 presets that come automatically built in to the program, which you can play around with. And then you've also got your strength slider up here at the top over here on the right. So on your presets pane, you've got a strength slider. And what you can do is if you like a preset, let's say we like healthy glow, but we just don't necessarily think it's, it just needs to be amplified a little bit more, you can easily come up and pull that slider to where you think it looks good, okay? So that's gonna be one really awesome new feature, the strength slider right here. That's cool, yeah. Different than the opacity slider in Perfectly Clear. Um, that they had before because what they would do before is it would all it would do would be to decrease the opacity of the perfectly clear applied preset layer and then bring back some of the original this strength slider actually smartly takes all of the sliders within that preset and just backs them off or increases the severity of each one of those individual sliders and so what I'll show you now is the adjust tab. So we've got our intelligent auto preset that's just straight out of the gate, what it gives you. And then if we come over to our adjust tab, you can see all of the different settings that the intelligent auto, um, the intelligent auto preset did for this image without you having to lift a finger, right? right. So we are perfectly smooth. We've got our blemish removal. We've got our infrared turns on. The skin toning isn't on for this particular preset. Shine removal is on. Um, and then it has some, some other settings as well. Teeth sharpening or teeth whitening, lip sharpening, that kind of thing. If I click on and off of the teeth whitening, you can see how um, the teeth were whitened in the image over there. I hope that's coming through and rendered. It is, yeah, that's okay, yeah. Um, and then you've got, you know, you're sharpening down here, and uh, that's it. All right. Awesome. And so Cecil was asking, is there is there a way to do two actions in Perfectly Clear on one image? And and no, a preset, the, the preset actions are just moving these sliders to a preset spot. And so if you want to do two things with it, you just, you choose one of them and then go in and make your own adjustment and you're adjusting that, you're adjusting a preset. And then you can save your own preset if it's something that you do all the time. Exactly, so that's gonna be the next step, right? Um, so I, as I mentioned in the beginning, you're gonna be getting some presets that I created, 
um, if you purchase, you know, after today's webinar and you use that promo link and you email me um, your confirmation email. Um, so what you can do here is if you come to the, I guess this is going to be the uh, preset flyout menu, it's going to include the 16 default presets that you see that are represented up here on this screen and also on the next screen, but it's also going to include any custom presets that you create yourself. So if, if I come in here and zoom in, you can see that I've created a few presets here. So I've got my shark pixel female dark skin, light skin, light problem skin, and then I have male dark skin, male light skin, and light problem skin for male. You don't necessarily see a lot of people with darker skin tones that have problem skin. <laughs> so, right. um, so that's why I don't have those you know, in there right now. And I'm also building the set. So I'll have other sets um, available you know, later once I have time to kind of explore the software a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'll zoom in to 100% here. And then what I'm going to choose is my female dark skin preset because I really like the effect that, that I was able to achieve. So if I go ahead and if, uh, if I click this thumbnail right up here, this split view thumbnail here, it'll bring up a line that you can click and drag from side to side to see the before and after. So I'm just going to slowly click and drag from side to side so that you can see what this um, preset was able to do. So remember, this is one click. And it's not only one click, it's one click that is automated. It, it's, it, it's automatable, and that's totally not a word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no, you didn't have to point out where the eyes are, and you didn't have to point out where the smile is, and you didn't have to mask off the hair or anything like that. Absolutely. And then on top of that, this is a preset that you can batch apply to multiple images all through Lightroom. Or Photoshop. We can also batch from Photoshop as, as Steve Drury is asking. Yeah. Um, using uh, automate commands there. Yeah. So, um, so if I come in here and just kind of slowly drag back and forth, obviously the um, the effects are not as strong, or not as visible when I'm zoomed out at 18.7%. <laughs> but when I was zoomed into 100%, I hope that you can see, I hope that you could see that difference between the two. And so it seems to be kind of easing the contrast on each individual pore, like it's, it's reducing the, the, the highlight and shadow difference, which reduces the uh, impact of the pores. But it's not, it's not just mushifying them completely either. It's not just completely removing detail. Exactly. You're not totally losing detail, especially if I come up here to, this, uh, to, the, to the forehead. This is a great example of how you know, those larger uh, disturbance areas are, are actually cleaned up while still keeping that overall pore structure for, for the skin, which is incredible. Okay. Yeah. And on top of that, I'm getting rid of a little bit of redness in the skin, and I'm also um, decreasing or mitigating that shine, okay, yeah. that a lot of people will suffer with um, if they have uh, darker skin, uh, models with darker skin tone. So that's what's really, really exciting. So now, I've shown you this preset that I created, but I want to come over to the Adjust tab to show you what the ingredients are behind this preset recipe. So really quickly, I'll come over to my adjust tab and then let's zoom in here and see what settings I have checked and what settings I, um, I left blank. Did you start with a, a raw file or a JPEG file for this one? This is a JPEG file of a straight out of camera raw image. Um, but it, it works the same way on a raw file. It does. The processing time is going to be a little longer because the file is larger. Right. But because you're automating all of this, it's not, it doesn't matter to you, right? I'm right. using JPEGs for today's example because, because I don't want you to have to sit there and watch the spinning beach ball of death. 
Right. right? And, and even so, it's it's actually quite fast, even even on RAS, but it is just a little snappier for, for the JPEG. Yeah, exactly. Um, so as you can see, this is a this is exactly the reason why I say any skin retouching work needs to be done at 100% and I'm zoomed in on my screen. That's why you're getting the pixelation here on this file currently. But the reason why I have this over here is basically to show you what my settings are for this preset specifically. So I have the perfectly smooth. Um, I have that checked and I have it set to full body or you can choose face only, which will only add the skin smoothing to the face. All right, it's I have- It's pretty incredible that it distinguishes. Absolutely. And then there are three different severity levels of skin smoothing, and you get to choose which one. So there's subtle, default, and super smooth as well. So there are so many applications um, and possible recipes to create your own presets that I definitely suggest you really play around with what these things do, right? So if I were to click on and off of the perfectly smooth checkbox here, if you look at the image on the left, you can see what's being affected by this single checkbox, right? Yeah. Same with blemish removal. Now, blemish removal in this version is a little finicky, all right? With lighter skin tones, I'm not the biggest fan of the blemish removal checkbox here. And I'm gonna be I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. This is an honest review. So for my presets that I've created, um, blemish removal is almost all the way down or it's actually turned off. So that's gonna be something that you know I'm just basically putting out there for you guys to be to be weary of the blemish removal and use it with caution. Right. Uh, the skin toning, this is something that's really done some amazing work um, in terms of what they've been able to do. So for face only, you have the choice of doing skin toning for white skin, for pale skin, for warm skin, for tan, giving a little bit of a tan, and then you have the option to mimic foundation. Were you guys able to see any of the switches and changes between these settings? Yes, it's quite subtle between warm and tan, but uh, but we can see that the paler settings. Oh, there you go. Just yeah. for this example, I'm going to take the skin toning slider all the way up, and then I'll cycle through them again. So white, wow. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Pale, warm, tan, foundation. Okay. There it goes. So yeah. even at 99%, the foundation looks great. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's removed the, the, the uh, it's homogenized the skin tone, you know, it's, it's, it's leveled things out and removed some of the redness, some of the blotchiness. It's, that's pretty incredible. Yeah, exactly. So one Without thing- Without a brush. The infrared slider will remove the red in the skin tone as well, but because this skin toning is able to remove the red of the from the skin as well I prefer using the skin smoothing or skin toning over the infrared to get rid of the redness in the image and I'll show you why so if you look at her lips down here on the after and we click on infrared do you see the color change on the lips as well Yeah, it's just a little bit paler yeah. well, it's a little bit uh, the red is desaturated a little bit from that lip color and that's something that I don't necessarily want to happen if I'm doing a preset, right? I don't want everybody's lips to look duller. Uh, that's not a word either, is it? <laughs> right, duller. Uh, you know, you know. <laughs> anyway, so skin toning is going to do the same thing for you, but it actually protects the red hues in the lip area as well. So I definitely would choose, they both do the same thing, but I would definitely choose skin toning over infrared. Um, so let's go ahead and zoom out here. And you can see I added a little bit of blush and a, and a lot of shine removal because one of the things, you know, I've done a lot of work on, on skin. And one of the questions that I get a lot is how do I deal with shine on darker skin tones? Right. It seems to be a recurring question that I get quite frequently. So that's why for the, for the shine removal, I actually went, you know, pretty far um, you know, to get rid of that shine. So, um, so yeah, so that is what 
I was able to do. So I'm holding down Opt, um, Command or Control and using the plus minus symbols to zoom in and out, just like you would in Photoshop. Incidentally, uh, another question that I often get is, is when you zoom, like you were just at 36%, um, and it, it's, not, it's not resolving sharply. If you zoom all the way to 50%, then you'll see the sharpness, the full sharpness of your picture. We're, we're using, perfectly clear is using kind of a, a, a lower resolution preview to really quickly show you this stuff. And so that's why it may not look super sharp at all zoom levels, but it is, it will be in the end. And, and if you zoom in just a little farther to, to 50% or greater, you'll see full resolution. Yeah, and you'll start to see that too, you know, as you can, as you zoom in and zoom out incrementally using the um, command or control plus plus or minus keys, you're going to see that not all of them are going to render as, you know, as uh, as successfully as you would you might like. Um, right. So so I created that preset, but let me just show you if I were creating this preset for the first time, uh, what I would do. So I've got all of my settings. Let's go ahead and add strength let's bring that strength up did you see how all of the sliders moved as i changed the strength slider right they all get a little more intense or what less i was intense. explaining um previously when we were over in the presets pane was that instead of just showing you a little bit of visibility of that background layer it's actually doing a smart render um and well, smart render that's not right that's not the right term <laughs> but it's it's smartly amplifying or decreasing the effect um, within the preset, right? right. So it's a super simple way. If you've got a preset, but it's too strong, back it off with the strength slider, or you it's just not enough, increase the strength slider a little bit. So what we'll do is we're gonna increase the strength slider just a little bit, uh, that's too much. <laughs> uh, this is just gonna be a little bit too much but bear with me, this is just... That makes it easier for us to see it, at least. So. Okay, good. So if I hit the space bar to see the before and after, you guys can see the, the um, difference in the skin, right? Yep. Okay. So then we'll come down to our Create button um, down here at the bottom of our Adjust pane. And we can click Create, and it, off, it asks us, you know, what do we want to name this? So let's go ahead and name this Shark Pixel Female dark skin extreme 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 we'll go ahead and press ok and then if we come back to our presets pane and we come to our flyout menu for the presets right here there it is see that underneath female um, we started with female dark skin but then we increased that strength slider and we were able to create dark skin extreme um, as an additional preset here. So if I go back to dark skin, you can see how it, um, how it takes that severity and turns that severity down on the preset. But if I go back to extreme, you can definitely see the difference. Right. Okay. Right. So are there Very any cool. questions from this point? Let's see. Yes, there's some questions here. And so let me, let me help Minotosaurus007 has several questions. Um, how to install on a different drive than C drive? Uh, you're, it, this has to be plugged into Lightroom or into Photoshop. So that's where you need to install it. You, you can't just install it someplace else because it's not a standalone product. This is a plugin for Lightroom and Photoshop. So it uses Lightroom and Photoshop's raw converters to uh, create a new, a new TIFF file or JPEG file that we can work with. Um, and so you just need to install it automatically. Just, just click install and it does it in the right place automatically. Minotosaurus 007. And Perfect Skin is a standalone plugin from Perfectly Clear right now. It's not included in Perfectly Clear. So when you're launching Perfectly Clear and you're using the skin stuff, um, you're, you're using the old skin tools. This is brand new this week. And so I, I hope that answers your question. And yes, Steve, this video is saved. As soon as we click end, you'll be able to rewatch it. Cause like Christy's pushing all the, all the shortcut keys and everything. Yeah, you can go back and rewatch this as many times as you like. Share it with your friends and, uh, and, and get, the, get the full instruction on how to use this. Um, and I think 
that's about all the questions right now. So let me recap for, for folks. You need to leave us a question in the Q&A uh, section in order to enter the drawing. We'll be giving away two free copies of Perfectly Clear and a, or excuse me, one copy of Perfectly Clear Complete and two Perfect Eyes, which does amazing things for the eyes. And uh, I think we're gonna show that to you in a second here. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and we're so glad that you've joined us. And we're really grateful to Perfectly Clear for helping us make this possible and allow Christy to share us share with us some of her her best methods for helping portraits look their best and, uh, and so so please weigh in you don't have to ask a question but you do need to say hello or how are you or Christy please put back on your shark fin anything to uh, leave a, a question enters you in the drawing and you'll find the Q and A pod if you'll click on the uh, the little grid sign in the top right corner of the video that you're viewing right now. And Christy, back to you. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna quickly go through um, the batch um, processing for doing this doing this kind of skin work. And, and then we're gonna go into perfect eyes because I would like to show you a little bit of that as well. So Terrific. if I hit go back to the grid view, um, I am going to remove this file for demonstration purposes. And so if I look at my images here, you can see that I've got a couple different people um, here. And, you know, we've got, we've got uh, darker skin, we've got lighter skin, you know, we've got older skin, we've got younger problem skin as well. So we, we've kind of got everything, um, everything kind of covered, right? So hypothetically, what you could do is you could select all of these images and you could run the intelligent auto preset on all of these images and that would work. But I'm, <laughs> I, I, uh, I struggle with letting go. <laughs> I know what you mean. Control, I guess is a good way to put it. Like, even though I am using automated software, I still want to be in control of what it does. And that's the reason why I created, um, different presets that are going to look best on different types of skin. I'm the same way. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I've got my, I've got three images here of darker skinned females. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose, I'm going to select those three images and then I'm going to choose export. And then up here, instead of choosing hard drive at the top of my export menu, I am going to choose perfect skin, Athentech perfect skin. And then. Which added that little top tab right there. Exactly. Perfect skin. So here you've got your choice to use the system presets, which are the exact same. Um, 16 presets that you had those thumbnail buttons for, or you have the choice to use your own presets. So if you look here, you've got, this is shark pixel female dark skin is what I want to be applied to these three images. So let's go ahead and press okay. We can hide the perfect skin window. We yes. don't need to watch it process. You do wanna make sure that add to this catalog is checked. And then let's go ahead and put this, instead of in the originating folder, let's choose, um, let's choose a specific folder. And instead of the raw subfolder, we are going to choose the skin smoothed subfolder. We'll hit choose. I just want to make sure you guys can see everything that I'm doing. Yeah, I appreciate it. And yeah, when you hit that hide perfect skin window, it makes it work in the background. Right. And it, it opens the pictures while, while you're doing other things in Lightroom. It's opening pictures in the background and cooking them and bringing them back into Lightroom. Exactly. And, and it's, it's pretty cool how that works automatically. Now, here, now here's a really interesting thing. I'm not going to go into it today because we're running out of time and I want to get to perfect eyes. But you can see here that I have presets for 
my light for my Lightroom export presets, I have a PC Beautify and a PC Beautify 2. I could very easily create a preset. Let's just create a preset. Let's put it in user presets and let's call this perfect in uh, female dark. Awesome. So we'll create that. So the next time that I run anything, any batch through, all of my settings are done for me and it'll go ahead and, and do that and I don't even have to put in those settings again. Right. We're gonna choose JPEG as our export file format and that looks good. So I'll zoom back out and then I'll go ahead and press export. And then I'm walking away from my computer and I'm letting my computer do the rest. And that's what's so powerful about this program is its capabilities of applying all of the presets to different images while you're not even there, okay? Yeah. It saves everybody a ton of time. So it says that the export was done successfully. So let's go ahead and come over and you can see here that we've got doubles of our images, right? So we've got the three originals, which are selected, and then we've got the um, additional images that were built um, and automated and created. So I'm gonna hit Command or Control D to deselect, and then let's select this. And then I just want to make this a little bit bigger so that you guys can see it. So that's the original, and that is the um, the automated skin, perfect skin applied to this image. Here's our original. Here's the automated perfect skin applied to this image. You can see how that shine was definitely mitigated. Right. And then here's our last one, right? So overall tone was corrected. Um, the shine was corrected. We added a little bit of blush and a little bit of um, overall, you know, evening of tone and everything like that. That so, blush really looks good. Like that. That's if you had pointed out that you added it, I I wouldn't have realized. But it looks it looks genuine. Sorry, I know that it's up at the top of my screen, but if I click and drag, you're not going to be able to see the difference. Right. Or, yeah. Anyway, so. Um, so yeah, so you can automate things like that. Um, and then if I wanted to, I could automate these three for my male dark skin preset. Or I could take these three and automate my, my male light skin preset, um, problem skin preset. So this is a really nice hybrid of taking automation but still putting your own touch to it. Right. It's not automating everything with the exact same preset, but I'm automating specific images that match presets that I know are going to work best for the other preset. Does that make sense? Yes, that's very cool. Let me ask you some questions, Christy. Yeah. Uh, Steve is asking, how do you import other uh, user-defined presets that we get when we email you our, our confirmation code? So Christy's got a, a discount code for you and a coupon code, and if you'll forward her your confirmation that you purchased the software, she will send you those presets that she's just shown us. And so will you also include instructions on how to install those? I will. I will. And, um, yeah, it's, I got those pretty instructions. pretty simple. You just have to drag and drop to the right spot. So. Yep. I can actually, uh, yeah, they'll be, the instructions will be in the email. So don't that, worry about it. That's a great it. question, Steve. Thank you very much. And then Steve is also asking, can you show us how to do it in Photoshop? Can you show us the batch in Photoshop? I can't. I don't actually know how. I, I'm not. I, I know about how but I'd have to go in and dig around because I don't do it from Photoshop. Do you do you do it from Photoshop, Christy, or um, um, do we need to send Steve to Google? <laughs> yeah, I think that that is uh, going to be a question for the Google gods or, or yeah. emailing um, emailing Athentex uh, customer support. They are on top of things and they will get back to you. And, and actually, as you, as you go into, when you open the plugin window, you'll see in the bottom left corner, there's a button that says tutorials. And there's a tutorial in there for you about how to do it right in uh, any of the perfectly clear uh, tools. Awesome. Any of the, I can't say perfectly clear, perfect skin, perfect eyes, perfect exposure. Any of those tools has those tutorials right down there for you to watch from. Yeah, that's great. And then Jorge asks, are these plugins 16-bit capable? 
There is some, oh no, never mind. There, yeah, there is. When, when you launch, you can choose to either be 8-bit or 16-bit JPEG or TIFF. So, yes. Yeah. For the files, yes. But if he's running Photoshop in 32 or 64-bit, mm. I'm not actually sure. That's going to be a question for perfectly for the perfectly clear support team. Good point. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. No problem. And then John says, I presume that perfect skin recognizes and improves body skin, arms and legs, etc., as well as just the face. Is that right? That is correct. So I was showing the um, the drop down in perfect skin before, which um, allows people to choose whether they want to apply the skin smoothing just to the um, face or to the entire body as well. So you, right. have, you have that that capability and control. And that capability is new in perfect skin. We didn't have that option in perfectly clear complete alone. Right. So uh, that's really a cool tool. Will you share, show us your slide right now about with the discount code as well? Absolutely. Uh, I do want to just quickly go over into perfect eyes. Yes. Um, but the deal is if you if you sign up and and purchase uh, perfect skin before the first which is friday is that friday, uh, friday? yes july 1st my yes. my promo code is good till july 1st and use the shark 35 promo code when you check out it it'll, it's a couple pages into checkout it's before you hit confirm but there's a, a spot to enter a coupon and you'll enter shark 35 and that'll get you perfect skin for just 35 bucks, which, <laughs> which is I, nuts. Yeah. We, we save that much on a single session already you by not spending 25 minutes on and, every person and you know, and bill a client 35 bucks. Ex exactly. Exactly. Uh, okay. So show us the perfect face because it is really, it's critical to have good looking eyeballs in a photograph. It as well. is. It is. And, what they have been able to do in terms of perfect eyes, it just every time I use it, it blows me out of the water. I don't know how they do this, but it is truly incredible the the uh, the effects or the final um, effects that you can get from running perfect eyes on any image. Right. So just as before, we're going to um, create a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Oh, try now. We'll just do a trial. Every time. It's like I put in my comp or I put in my serial number and. Well, I'm thinking since this is actually included in perfectly clear now, in, in perfectly clear complete, you also get all of these presets from perfect eyes. And so, um, um, so I rarely actually open perfect eyes on my, on its own myself anymore. But I see. So before you've done anything, can you guys see the difference there? Yeah. Look at that. The Look bright. at how the under eye circles were um, mitigated. Look at how the eyes were sharpened and contrasted, and it just really makes those eyes pop out from the image completely. I mean, like, I, I literally did not pick up my mouse, or, you know, I didn't click anything. All I did was click open in perfect, perfect eyes. Yeah. And just the same way you f you can automate the skin batch retouching through Lightroom, you can do the exact same thing for perfect eyes and automating in the exact same way, um, running them through perfect eyes. So as I said in that example in the beginning, um, mm -hmm. that is going to be, that was all we did to those images. We ran them through perfect eyes and we ran them through perfect skin. So one thing, one caveat that I do want to mention for you guys is in my presets, um, what I have done is I have used sharpening. So over in perfect skin, in my presets, I've increased the sharpening quite a bit on the entire image. Mm. So if you're going to run perfect skin and perfect eyes on the exact same image, you want to make sure that you're not doubling the sharpening that's applied to the eyes because sharpening in perfect skin is going to sharpen the entire image, not just the skin tone. That is, that is something that I've suggested that they change with the next version. <laughs> um, so just want to let you know that that's probably a change that's coming. Um, 
But uh, so what we've got here is we've got a couple different choices. So we have our, so you can see that I've turned my sharpening off for, um, for the eyes preset that I created. Whoa, see the difference there? Yeah, right. Okay, so, so that's just gonna stay off. Um, but I do have eye enhance turned on and I do have dark circles turned on. The power in this software really lies behind this dark circles checkbox. I love it. This is yeah. the reason why you buy perfect eyes. If it is only for the darkened circles checkbox, mm -hmm. it's still worth it because Absolutely. you get complete, I mean, you're able to get rid of dark circles on every single image without losing any detail in the areas underneath the eyes. And without brushing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You're doing no freehand movements at all. So, I mean, like, talk about crazy. Um, it's amazing. It's, yeah. And it, and it recognizes, like, even when I do group pictures, it re recognizes everybody's eyes and, and lightens them up under there and, and uh, it just makes great improvements. That's a great point that, yeah. that this, both of these um, pr programs are going to be, um, be capable to work. Oh God, I can't form <laughs> um, work on images that have more than one face in them, which I haven't even shown you in this webinar, which is crazy. They look at each one of those faces, and as soon as they find multiple faces, they're going to apply that skin retouching to each one of them, which is which is awesome. So I just want to show you a couple different um, other options that you have here in the uh, in in the eye enhancement tab. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to enlarge the eyes for your client, you could do that just to make them look like their eyes are a little bit more open. Right. I'm going a little bit crazy here, so that you guys. Yeah can see the difference. <laughs> I mean, it, it's amazing how natural it can actually look. Uh, <laughs> As you say that, right? Which we're not doing right now. It, you can also do the cat video thing. Where <laughs> yeah. But, but it, it is really an incredible tool. Yeah, I am going a little bit over oh, extreme right now, just so that you can see that. But yeah. there are going to be clients that say, oh, is there any way you could open my eyes a little bit? And then and, and then you're done. I mean, it's and then you say, yes, I can do that. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, so let's zoom back in. Also, Steve and Bill are both asking, which do you run first, skin or eyes, or does it matter? Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me, I don't think. You might pay attention to that sharpening so you're not double sharpening. And I'm, I'm with you. I would, I would do the sharpening in the skin, not in the eyes section. Mm -hmm. Incidentally, yeah. that top section right here called corrections, that mm -hmm. is – perfect exposure. That is free for you to go to athentech.com right now and download for free. And, uh, and that section is also included in perfect skin under, under the lighting section. Uh, yes. And it's, it's the best contrast and exposure tool on the planet. It's amazing right. how it works. It, it doesn't desaturate or oversaturate as you, as you brighten and darken things. And then, yeah, the, the sharpening is marvelous. It's, it's a cool free tool. Yeah, for sure. And so the last thing that I just want to show you guys really quickly is this catch light option that you have. And, um, and what's new in Perfect Eyes is you have the choice. So catch light was an option in Perfectly Clear in right. the eyes settings for the, uh, for the eyes settings in Perfectly Clear if anybody's used Perfectly Clear before. But what's new is that you now have a choice of different um, different reflections to create those catch lights with. I think it's amazing. And that, that last one, the outdoor, is fabulous. I, yeah. I use that all the time, just because that gentle glow in the top of the eyeballs. Uh, Absolutely. So useful. Absolutely. And it's very nice and, um, and understated as well, yeah. which is good. So if I'm shooting somebody outdoors like I was here, probably they have enough catch lights. So for me, I usually don't use this, but if you were um, shooting something in, and you needed to somehow uh, add catch lights or make the yeah. eyes just look a little bit more um, detailed. Um, and alive. Mm -hmm. alive. Look, a person looks more alive with the catch light in their eyes. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. So what? I, so here, here's what I would suggest. I would suggest creating your own preset to run with perfect skin, mm. right? Which has the sharpening turned off. So if I come down here and zoom in, you can see that right now, this is the preset that I've created. So the shark pixel eyes pair with perfect skin preset. And what that's going to remind me is that this is the one, this is the preset that doesn't have the sharpening turned on because I'm already sharpening in the other program. Oh, good. Yeah. So that's just a workaround for you if you're going to be doing, um, using perfect eyes and perfect skin as well. So guys, that is it. That's incredible. Thank you so much. We've got a couple of more questions. Yeah. Let's see. Um, Oh, so Antoine is asking, I've got perfectly clear complete. I often wonder how to apply several presets on top of each other, uh, like perfect skin and perfect eyes without leaving the program. Well, do, do you have an answer for that? I've got, I've got okay. an idea. Sorry, read that again. My, my... <laughs> yeah, how do you apply several presets on top of each other, like perfect skin and perfect eyes without leaving perfectly com clear complete? Um, well, so perfect skin isn't, the, the, these new these new tools that Christy has just shown us are not in perfectly clear complete yet, uh, and so but but perfect eyes is and so you could like run the beautify in perfectly clear, and then and then if you hit the little switch on the at the bottom you you cycle over to perfect eyes, all it's doing is moving the same sliders the same set of sliders to a different position so you you can't you can't run a different preset because it'll it'll reset the other sliders. So mm -hmm. run one, and then just go in and move the eyes sliders yourself. Does that make sense, Antoine? I, I, uh, I hope that makes sense. The presets aren't, aren't magic or secret. They're just a starting point with the sliders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. But if you are using the standalones, like perfect eyes and perfect skin, right. you can apply two different presets to the same image. Yeah, then you just have to go out and go, yeah, you, you'll have to just launch both presets to or both, excuse me, you'll have to launch both plugins to do that. Right, one after the other. Yeah. He says, oh, okay, so I think it worked. Okay. Um, Bill says, what would you do to open only one eye? Ah, I would create a virtual copy and I would open the eye and then I would use Photoshop to layer the opened eyes image on top of the original. That's and what I was thinking too. Just yeah. mask in that one eye that's been sharp, uh, one eye that's been opened. Awesome. But make sure then to not apply the sharpening or any of the <laughs> eye enhance features because you will spend all day trying to mimic the effects of the eye enhance that perfectly clear has been able to come up with on the eye that wasn't opened. Right. So what you would want to do is save that file with the one eye enlarged and the other eye fine and then take the file into perfect eyes again and apply the same sharpening and the same eye enhancement to both the opened eye and the original eye. Right. And that that's kind of what Jorge was asking too if we can if we can selectively apply these things using masking. And yes, you can, you can just run it on various layers and mask it all together. And, and the amazing thing is that it, it's so fast that even if you make a mistake, you just run it again. <laughs> yeah. it, I mean, you just do it really quickly. Um, and then John says, will both products work on multiple people in a photo automatically? What about a group picture, like 10 people? Yep. Yep. I've done it on more than 10 people and it works. Everybody's eyes get retouched. Everybody's skin gets retouched. Uh, my family portrait hanging on the wall right now has, uh, was, was done with perfectly clear skin and eyes retouching. And it is incredible. Yeah. It even, it, it may even, there, there's one tool that we didn't even talk about, the face slimming. And, oh man, yeah. yeah and, and it'll even work on group pictures too to just pull in the jowls a little bit. Well, so the reason why they created that, sorry if we're gonna go over here, but the reason why they created that is actually that some photographers use a not so flattering lens when shooting portraits. Right. So um, if you're shooting a portrait with anything that is uh, 
wider than a, say, let's say a 50 millimeter lens, what you're going to do is get distortion that actually makes your client's face look wider than it actually is. So anytime, so all of my portraits, all these pictures that you see here are all shot with a 135 prime uh, Canon lens. That thing is my money maker. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, so uh, really quickly, let's go into the adjust tab and let's choose face contouring here. In action. Watch what it does. Just look at her cheeks, guys. Just watch this. Before and after. Holy cow, you just took off Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> the, 10, the 10 pounds she's been putting off this shoot for for, for 10 years. And holy cow. Um, yeah. It's amazing. So you may see a little bit of a um, mismatch in the layers. Do you see right under here in the eyes? You can see if I hit the space bar, you'll see a little gray line that comes up on the lower lid between the eye and the actual lashes. You can see a little gray line. And so as soon as you zoom into 100%, that goes away. Right. It's, the, just, it's just the preview that's showing that. This yeah, is the res preview. The preview though. issue. But yeah. as you can see, it does a really great job of just slimming those cheeks and just bringing them in a little bit, which is a, which is a lens correction issue. It is not right. a, let me take a few pounds off my client, exactly. unless your client asks, let exactly. me, can you take a few pounds off me? Well, and it's a slider. I mean, you can crank it up if you needed to, but uh, I don't recommend it. I, I recommend 50% or less for the most part. Right. And, and your, yeah, your clients won't even notice. Uh, so, and, and I use it both ways. I have to admit, as a slimming tool and as a lens correction tool. <laughs> I'm just, I have earmuffs on, right? Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm, I, I don't think it's good for society to go around slimifying pictures, but um, having said that, I occasionally do it. use it that way. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't mess it up, and like if I go into liquefy, the day is gone, basically. It'll, yeah. it'll take me hours, and, and then it'll look terrible when I'm done. So. Um, yeah. Thank you all so much for joining us. Christy, why don't you show us your discount code one more time while I finish off the drawing? All right. We can happily do that. So the way it works, you, it will tell us how it works one more time. So what you're going to do first is you are going to go and purchase the um, perfect skin using the link um, in the video. And then when you're checking out, you're going to use the promo code um, SHARK35, which is going to bring the price down almost 50%, people. Yeah. That's insane. Pretty amazing. Um, and then once you've done that, you're going to forward your purchase confirmation email to info at sharkpixel.com. And then I will send you back instructions and the six presets for perfect skin in a reply email. Excellent. That works. And so we've got right now, we've got two copies of uh, Perfect Eyes to give away. And we've got a license for Perfectly Clear Complete to share. That and cool. yes. Um, and so the Perfect Eyes go to Jonathan Parker and John Lentz. And if you guys are still here, please leave another question so that I know you're here. Otherwise, I'm going to draw somebody else. You've got like 42 seconds to weigh in and tell us you're still here. And then uh, Steve Drury won the perfectly clear complete. So Steve, if you're still here, please weigh in as well. And and that's $149 value. I think the uh, I think perfect eyes are also about 49 bucks each. So we're, we're sure glad that you guys joined us. And please weigh in that Steve Drury and Jonathan Parker and John Lentz are still here. And, uh, and then you guys just need to email me, Levi at photofocus.com, and I will send you license codes to use for uh, perfect eyes and perfectly clear complete. Steve, I got you. Jonathan, I got you. And how about John Lentz? Let's see if John's still in. If not, I'm gonna I'm gonna start drawing another person, John. I hope you're still here. Three. Let's see who's gonna win it. It's gonna be 
Steve Drury, you can't you can't win again, Steve. Sorry, I'm gonna because perfectly clear complete actually includes perfect eyes at this point. So, Tony Stag, are you still here? Tony Stag, if you are in, whichever of you two weighs in first, Tony or Jonathan Lentz, and while they're weighing in, Christy, where can we find you? Sure. Um... So the link in my, um, in my little banner below is going to be the website. There, Shark Pixel. Shark Pixel, yep. And if you go to sharkpixel.com slash store, there's a lot of free actions and presets that you can download. Um, you know, just as a thank you from me, um, there's some for Photoshop. There's some presets for Lightroom as well. So definitely go and check those out. Um, and then also, you can find me on Instagram at shark underscore pixel. Yes, and tune in for Mermaid Mondays. Yes. On, on Instagram. Um, any any conferences, workshops? Where can we yeah. where can we see you in person? Yes. Yeah, so um, coming up, July eighteenth through twentieth, I'll be speaking on skin retouching at Photoshop World in Vegas. So that'll be excellent. Fun. I do have a couple of Photoshop retouching uh, classes on kelbyone.com as well. So if you're a member there, I'd highly recommend going and, and watching those. Uh, they're packed full of information. So Perfect. you're definitely going to learn something. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for that. I haven't heard from uh, either of the guys we drew. So let's see if Bill Ball is still in. Bill, are you in the room? Nobody wants perfect eyes? Oh, no, John's there. Sorry, got it, John. Sorry, Bill. You'll win next time. John, <laughs> thank you very much. Jonathan and Steve, email me, Levi, at photofocus.com, and I will send you your winnings. Thank you all so much for joining us, and thank you, Christy Shirk, and uh, thank you to Athen Tech and Perfectly Clear for allowing us to make this webinar happen. Join us next time. We've got Lightroom webinars also, and... Uh, and we're always helping you learn how to improve your photography and videography at photofocus.com. So we'll catch you guys next time.